Good morning, 47. We have a lead on the Shadow Client. ICA White Hats have traced the anonymous data received by our clients to one Olivia Hall, brilliant young hacktivist and suspect in a dozen cases of cyber vandalism. Using onion routing with state-of-the-art encryption, Hall went to a lot of trouble to stay untraceable. She is good, but we are better. Her digital trail has led us to a remote farm in Colorado, where satellite footage has revealed what appears to be the training camp for a private militia, led by an already registered target, Sean Rose, Australian environmental terrorist and explosives expert wanted for a series of public bombings. Rose was spotted near the scene of Thomas Cross's kidnapping, which makes him our prime suspect for the shadow climate. Spurred by Eric Soders, the ICA board of directors has asked us to infiltrate the farm and eliminate Sean Rose, along with three other prominent militia members. Ezra Berg, retired Mossad interrogator. Penelope Graves, former Interpol anti-terror analyst. And finally, Maya Parvati, former assassin and gun runner for the Tamil Tigers. I'll be honest with you, 47. I consider Eric Soda's reasoning hasty and ill-advised. Now, we cannot go against the wishes of the board, but we can conduct our own investigation. Whether a direct threat to the ICA or not, we need to know the Shadow Client's true agenda. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Colorado, 47. The militia has taken up HQ at an old apricot farm and appear to be training for a series of coordinated strikes, ranging from cyber attacks to full-blown guerrilla warfare. The Shadow Client appears to unite specialists and radicals from all over the map. Mercenaries and terrorists, hackers and spies joined by an unknown common cause. Satellite scans indicate that the command room is below ground inside an old tornado shelter. Only Rose appears to have access, however, so to get inside, you will need to get creative. This environment is hostile and highly alert, so tread carefully. Good luck, 47. Ezra Berg, legendary Mossad operative who specializes in chemical interrogation techniques, is here at the compound to interrogate a prisoner. My notes indicate he set up a makeshift drug lab in a garage, and it looks like he's spending a lot of his time in the basement. Could be an opportunity there, 47. What the are you talking about? I was just at the security... Station watching the feeds, there's this creepy guy interrogating the hostage. He wears like a 3D printed mask. Oh, yeah, that must be Berg. Oh, yeah, man, his interrogation techniques totally just out of box stuff like truth serums, drugs, that kind of thing. But uh, none of the rough stuff. Now, they don't like to mark up their patients, so to speak. Those Mossad boys like things clean and efficient. Berg. I guess it's his makeshift lab they've set up. What is he doing? 
That is Sean Rose, terrorist turned insurgent. Listen up. We're dealing with a highly volatile compound. Nitroglycerin, or 1,2,3-trifluorocoxypropane, is a pretty unstable screw-up, and it will take you a to clean up. Luckily for you, this sounds promising. The militia received a large shipment of nitroglycerin this morning, which is now stored at the munitions depot. Apparently, Rose himself plans to apply and test the gel as soon as a sample is ready. The batch we have at the munitions depot is chemically desensitized, and it's about as safe as regular explosives. Still, I need you to be careful with the mixture. Add a little bit of time. Or go to the munitions depot and get it. and it looks clear. Over. We don't want to lose this guy. Come on! All right, go. And easy. Man, this friendly. Let's see. Hmm. Charge is too weak. Mix another batch of gel. This time, add another 5% of nitroglycerin. Sure thing, Sean. I need the mixture to be precise. The contents of the safe cannot be damaged. When you're done, text me. And I'll come by and check you haven't created something that will blow us all to kingdom come. That is all.
Fuck. I cannot believe you're still paying for this. It's taking forever. We need to get this car ready for shipping to Mexico. That takes a while, you know. We've only got two hands, Bob. We can't work much faster. So this test that Rose has planned seems kind of cool, doesn't it? I mean, I'm no softy or anything, but it feels excessive. She's got it coming. Nobody can switch sides that great. Just expect to be accepted. Tests are in order, man. Yeah, sure, I get that. But playing on her past with Interpol like that? I... I don't know, man. 
I just hope the tech Penelope Graves is still new to this outfit, and it looks like Rose is going to test her dedication to the cause. He's arranged for one of the communications technicians to act as an outside agent. The tech is supposed to show her an Interpol badge and escort her to the slurry pit, asking her to betray the militia. Might I suggest a last-minute recasting, 47? She knows how to act. She used to be the enemy. I don't have any sympathy for that. I'm sure he'll be fine. He's got the badge, right? Yeah, he showed it to me over by the tent. I rehearsed his lines, too. He's taking this pretty seriously. Should be in the clear. Okay. It'll be interesting to see if she takes the hook. Not to mention how far she'll go. I she'll order us to be. If she does, I got a 45 caliber. I hear you. <laughs> I just, I just feel like I could have made a difference. It won't be my first love again, you know. I know. I know. Man, damn straight. I know. So what? We're not going to Mexico to chat to the natives. We're going to blow shit up. Right? I don't doubt that at all, man. Hell, I would have gone with you given half a chance. I'm sorry, Ramirez. I'm a professional. I should be in that team. I should be going to Mexico. I'm going to get you to get you Spanish.
You freeze. Possible disturbance in my position. Checking it out. Hey, hold up! Hold you are not supposed ah! Command. False. Ezra Berg, former Mossad interrogator. His services are in demand at the moment. Ah, Ezra Berg has been eliminated. Good work, 47. Satellite reception. Sure. Just wait a minute. Try it again. Huh. Strange. Don't worry about it.
Good job, recruit. That is Penelope Graves, acclaimed anti-terror analyst. Strange to see her as part of this crowd. Sure. Got a badge in my pocket, prep my lines. Shouldn't be a problem. Almost game time. Uh, you, uh, think you can hook her? Graves is new. She comes by every two seconds to check on her work. She's paranoid enough to bite. So Rose basically wants you to pretend you're with Interpol. Uh, get her to come with you, uh, and then what? I'm supposed to lure her to the slurry pit and tell her to roll over on Rose and the rest of us. Try to get her to turn on us. Be interesting to see how she reacts. Is she gonna ask the guys there to shoot me, or will she give up everything? Yeah, it's a big decision. What if she takes the bait? Well then Rose is gonna find her and kick her ass, I imagine. Don't mind me here.
Still no data signal. I, I need you to adjust the satellite reception. Oh, okay. Uh, wait. Uh, how about now? I'm not, I'm not feeling too good. Oh, shit. Penelope Graves. We need to talk. Your... Uh... What is this? I'll explain everything at the slurry pit. It will be in your best interest to do as I say. I understand. I'll see you there. Battering Ram has injured one of the strike team, Point Man by the name of Burgess, and according to those militiamen, Maya Parvati oversees training. Sounds promising. I suggest you infiltrate the strike team 47. Perhaps you can relieve the hapless Point Man of his duties. He's Point Man in the Mexico operation? Huh. He got clipped by a ram. You're trespassing and I don't do warning shots. That's right, I'm Secretary Torres, motorcade. Are you even aware that you are trespassing? That's it! Stop it! Nine out of ten accidents happen. All right, you blew it. I'm taking you in. Penelope Graves, we need to talk. Your, uh, what is this? I'll explain everything at the slurry pit. It will be in your best interest to do as I say. I understand. I'll see you there. Listen, we don't shoot warning shots. You understand what I'm saying? Call me if anything happens. I hear about a training accident. That would be Burgess. A battering ram has injured one of the strike team, Point Man by the name of Burgess. And according to those militiamen, Maya Parvati oversees training. I suggest you infiltrate the strike team 47. Perhaps you can relieve the hapless Point Man of his duties.
Miss Graves, you are being recruited. <laughs> what do you want? You're very intense, you know that? And you need a breath mint. Miss Graves, you are being I... recruited. Back into Interpol as an insider. Who are you anyway? How did you find me? That is not important. Think about this carefully. You could provide us with valuable intel. If you cooperate, the agency will overlook your unfortunate transgression. And what if I refuse, huh? If I scream and get the guards here? I wouldn't do that if I were you. Might prove unhealthy. I'll give you a few moments to think about it. Good work, 47. This should give her something to think about. So, look, it's nice of Rose to think of my safety and everything, but I need to do something on my own here, so just... come back in a few, all right? Think, Graves. How did they get to you? Flight out of Lyon under assumed name. Passport provided through Delgado and that Vanisher guy. It looked clean. Changed clothes at JFK and again at Denver International. Charred the passport after leaving the hotel. Burner phone was dropped before I left the flight, so it can't possibly be that. Diplomatic car out of Denver. Nothing. Huh? <laughs> Diplomatic car out of Denver. Nothing unusual about the bus ride. Met up with Hall in the middle of nowhere. Burned everything. I saw her do it. There's. There's no way. Hackers erased everything here day one. No money, no paper trails, no digital signatures. It's just not possible. It's not possible. I decline your offer. You know why? Two reasons. One, I am not a rat. I've peeked behind the curtain and I don't like what I'm seeing there, so... I'm here to change things. And two, I don't buy it. There's no way Interpol would have found me. Hall erased my digital fingerprint. There is, there is nothing connecting me to this place. So what gives? What are you up to? Well done, Miss Graves. You passed the test. A test? This was a test? Who set you up to this? Rose? Yes, miss. I can't believe it. Actually, you know what? That does sound just like him. Then, what a waste of time. Okay, can you just leave me alone for a few minutes? I've got some thinking to do. I'm sure Rose won't mind. Oh, okay, that's okay. Ooh! Down. Excellent work, 47.
I'm back. Well, well, our very own punching bag. Any broken bones? Wounded pride, that's all. Good to hear. All right, head over to the briefing area. We'll resume in a moment. Rose, her body. The point man is back in action. by heart. But in case amnesia has set in, here's the sequence. Advance to the car with haste. Eliminate the passengers. Retrieve the briefcase. Extract. Got that? 
And remember, speed and accuracy is the name of the game. All right. Now go pick up your weapons and get in position. Move out. Keep it real, man. Please proceed. Pretend I'm not here. Not a problem. Amnesia has set in. Here's the sequence. Advance to the car with haste. Eliminate the passengers. Retrieve the briefcase. Extract. Got that? And remember, speed and accuracy is the name of the game. All right. Now go pick up your weapons and get in position. Move out. but lacks coordination. The point is to build up muscle memory, a perfect sequence of synchronized motion. We've been through this before. All due respect, boss, shit will go wrong. We'll need to improvise. If you do what I tell you, nothing will go wrong. Not on my watch.
Let's go again. On your mark. Ready. Set. Execute. overall performance was passable. Good speed and accuracy, but coordination needs to improve. The point is to build up muscle memory. A perfect sequence of synchronized motion. You need to be able to pull this off sleeping. Passable? Your point man was spectacular. He'd make an excellent assassin. The rest of the team needs to work a lot harder to meet my standards. Let's go again. Yes, sir. Dick. Do me a favor and check that thing out. Creep! Go ahead. It's you. Bloody Identify wait. yourself. Oh, Hands off right now. I'm taking you with me. Where is everybody?
Nicely done, 47. Parvati won't know what hit her. Tighter, but I like where this is headed. A few more rounds and this will work perfectly. Your point man is in a league of his own, but team performance still lacks coordination. You are stagnating. I it's all targets oh. taken care of, 47. There will now be gain no access to the tornado shots. shelter. Just saying, man. Maya Parvati is down. Good work. I will be forced to take Probably action. Solid that means you out. will probably die. Taking any bodies found. Out. Hey, you in the costume? Why are you wearing that costume? Do it again. Don't let him get away. Nicely done, 47. Parvati won't know what hit her. But I like where this is heading. A few more rounds. Maya Parvati is down. Good work. Intriguing. According to Graves' ledger on Sean Rose, he is hypersensitive to the effects of drugs, in particular, hallucinogens. Last time he tried, it triggered a nasty psychotic episode, channeling his fear of germs. Interestingly, the ledger also contains a record of his most recent OCD attacks. Desk, grandfather clock, and faucet. Hmm. Rose appears to smoke cigarettes when he gets agitated. What if... Huh. Oh, 
And who might you be? Huh? What? Hey, mister, who are you again? What is this joker up to anyway? See that?
everybody! Disconcerting. Oh, what the hell doesn't anyone else care about this? That's all targets taken care of, 47. Now gain access to the tornado shelter.
Do I know you? Are you dead?
We trust in you, Private. Seriously, what are you up to, mister? What? Thickens. Someone left in a hurry. Sean Rose was not the Shadow Client. That much is clear. Whoever commands the militia, they got out just in time. Look around, 47. We're getting closer. Some kind of network. Power players. From all sectors. Familiar faces, too. Cross, Klaus Strandberg, Ether, and that's missing banker Eugene Cobb. 
well, well. There's a name. Providence. What? No. No, it can't be. The Hidden Hand. Thought they were a myth. A hypothesis, nothing more. The idea that a small cabal of kingmakers, controlling enough corporate and political leaders, could effectively run the world in secret. Maybe not so hypothetical. Keep looking, 47. We need full disclosure. Found something. So it is. But that would mean... Providence has infiltrated ICA. And Eric Sodas is their operative. Bastard! It all fits. He was the one who persuaded the rest of the ICA board to greenlight this operation. This changes everything. Get out, 47. We got what we came for. What about the Shadow Client? He is no longer our primary concern. ICA has been compromised. I always wondered if Providence was real, but I never actually... I will need to confer with the board, but mark my words, 47. This will have consequences. Rose is gone. It was me, wasn't it? They tracked me. I don't believe it. I took every precaution. Rose knew the risks. They all do. You did well, Olivia. I am proud of you. Now listen. The ICA knows about you. They kept you alive because they needed you, and now they don't. We won't talk again. Not until the storm is over. I don't like it. This man you know what he's capable of. You need to end this now. I ran away as a boy. My friend and I, away from that place. We came upon a small farming community. The people were dirt poor, but this woman, she took us in. We were awakened the next morning by the shots. A dozen people lay face down in the snow. Our warden didn't like to leave witnesses. They shot the woman and her family last. They made sure that we watched the whole thing. This is your gift, the warden told us. Your gift and your curse. Touching lives only by ending them. Better than anyone. 